Let's uh, consider the mathematical development of a velocity profile in a fully developed flow. Recall from the uh, previous uh, module that as fluid enters a pipe, uh, there is a certain distance called the entrance region, and after that it is fully developed. Uh, in the entrance region, the uh, velocity of the fluid inside the uh, pipe depends both on the actual distance, uh, that is a distance from the left hand side, as well as it depends on the radial distance, that means from the center of the pipe towards the inside surface. Whereas in case of a fully developed flow, the uh, velocity profile depends only on the radial distance. Now the entrance region uh, gets to be quite complex to, uh, uh, to analyze. Uh, but we are going to look at what happens to the velocity profile in this fully developed flow. Uh, previously in the module, we mentioned that it is a parabolic velocity profile, and uh, in this uh, uh, mathematical development, we will uh, determine the, uh, the actual geometrical uh, shape of that profile. So let's draw this uh, little section of a pipe inside this pipe, we take a cylindrical region of the fluid uh, with a small radius r and uh, we have the length of this uh, fluid, uh, imaginary uh, cylindrical volume of the fluid as a to b. Uh, since the flow is taking place from left to right, that is after some time this uh, uh, volume of cylindrical volume of fluid a b moves to a dash b dash. Now we will take a, uh, a small space and we will conduct what is called a force balance. In other words, we will see what kind of forces are actually um, acting on a certain imaginary uh, volume of the uh, fluid. Uh, so we have on the left hand side there is a force which of course is dependent on the pressure. So we have pressure PA and this is the side A, and uh, so we have pressure PA times the area. Uh, PA is just referring to location A, and uh, uh, pi r square is the cross-sectional area, uh, since the radius is r. So note that as fluid is moving from left to right, uh, flow always moves from high pressure to low pressure, so on the right-hand side, uh, there is a force that is acting on this fluid uh, volume and that is PA minus delta P uh, where delta P is that small pressure difference uh, times the pi r square so that is the cross-sectional area. Now also and, and another force that is acting on the fluid volume is uh, sigma times 2 pi r L now note that 2 pi r is the circumference of this uh, imaginary cylindrical volume of fluid and the length of this uh, volume is L. And uh, sigma, the opposing force, is uh, essentially uh, the stress uh, that is expressed as force per unit area. So we will assume that there is no acceleration towards as the fluid is moving from left to right. So in that case, all the forces must balance out. Then we have PA times pi r square, this is on the left hand side, minus the opposing force PA minus delta P times pi r square minus sigma 2 pi rl, that is in the opposing direction. All that equals zero. Now, if we expand this second term, uh, we have PA pi r square minus PA pi r square plus delta P pi r square minus sigma 2 pi r L equals zero. So the first two terms, PA pi r square, will cancel out, and uh, we will be left with delta P pi r square minus sigma 2 pi r L equals zero and uh, we can rearrange the terms so we have delta p pi r square equals sigma 2 pi r l uh, pi will cancel out 
and uh, one of the R terms will cancel out. So, and rearranging, we have delta P over L equals 2 sigma divided by R. Now, note that sigma, which is the uh, uh, shear stress, equals minus mu times du over dy. Uh, you may want to look at the uh, module on viscosity uh, where we uh, develop this particular expression. So sigma equals minus mu du over dr. Uh, we replace the dy by dr because we are working with uh, cylindrical coordinates. So we have delta p over l equals 2 sigma over r. We can also rearrange that as sigma equals delta p r over 2 l. So instead of sigma, we can write down minus mu du over dr equals delta p r over 2 l. So we can then again rearrange terms. We have du equals minus delta p r times dr divided by mu times 2 l. Now we can integrate for velocity from u to 0. Note that at the center of the pipe we have velocity u and at the inside surface of the pipe where the fluid is actually sticking to the surface the velocity is 0. So the integral is u to 0 uh, for du and that equals minus delta p divided by 2 mu l and then we have the integral for r dr and the limits are from lowercase r to capital R and that capital R is the radius of the pipe. So now we can integrate, we know integral of du is u so we have u r and uh, it is evaluated from u to 0 and that equals minus delta p over 2 mu l and uh, again note that the integral of r will be r square over 2 so we have r square over 2 evaluated from lowercase r to uppercase r uh, so on the left hand side uh, we have minus u and in parentheses r uh, by the way the uh, this parentheses r means only that u is a function of radius uh, so we are not actually multiplying radius with u here. We are just saying that u is a function of the radial direction because it's going to change as we go from center to the uh, internal surface. So minus ur equals minus delta p over 2 mu l capital R square divided by 2 plus delta p small letter r square divided by 2 mu l times 2. Now we will take capital R, which is the radius of the pipe, capital R square out of the parentheses. So we will write minus u r equals minus delta p divided by 4 mu l capital R square. Then in parentheses we will have 1, this is for the first term, then minus r over capital R square. Uh, so it will be small r square divided by capital R square in parentheses. And uh, then of course we can cancel out the negative signs on the left hand side and right hand side and our final expression then is ur equal delta p r square divided by 4 mu l in parentheses we have 1 minus r that is lowercase r divided by uppercase r square and then end of parentheses. This is the equation of a parabola and uh, so this also tells us how the velocity u will change in the radial direction. So this uh, equation tells us that the velocity profile uh, in the fully developed flow region of the pipe will be of a parabolic shape.